Hey everyone and welcome to my Tomb Raider Definitive Edition console strategy guide. Um, in the last part we took care of the biggest out of bounds in the early game, which was the radio tower skip. And in this part we're just going to do some basic stuff. So we start off where we left the last episode, which is when you, la when you land around here. You just want to roll, scramble roll your way down. And now you have to start a signal fire. What I like to do is open this first, mash it, and during the animation, jump, and then just scramble forward, because the jump puts you exactly where the gap is. Then just pick up this. I have no idea what this is supposed to be, but it lets you make fire, so whatever. Skip this cutscene, start immediately dot, um, scrambling and rolling, and then hold square or X. While the fire burns, Get this ammo crate, because why not? And now there's just a cutscene. It Skip it. And just do the QTE slide, whatever. Basically you're just sliding down. Try to move as little as possible. I always do this by just going a little bit to the left here. And then just carefully nudging her to the right. Guys, go try going going through here. And then there's a square QTE here. And just jump. So as soon as you get this checkpoint here, reload it to skip the cutscene. Okay, so now we have to get the pilot. This is actually a little bit fucked up, because if you're too fast, the game sort of fucks with your position, but really nothing bad should happen. It's really unlikely. Just try to be as fast as possible. Here I like to miss this banner to get down here. And one final jump. Skip this cutscene. And then jump past this guy. Jump over here. And you remembered in... I think it was episode 4. I'm pretty sure it was. Yes, it was episode 4. Uh, we bought the two skills for the early game. And one of those skills was Dirty Tricks. So... When we bought this, this skill, I told you that we're going to use it to skip uh, walkie-talkie cutscenes. Um, that's actually just my alarm going off. Nice. Um, I told you that we're going to use it to skip um, the walkie-talkie sequences. Now, as soon as we pass, uh, pass this camp, which is right in front of me right now, there is a walkie-talkie sequence triggered. And... I'm gonna use this chance to tell you to talk you uh, to talk about um, the dirty trick slide a little bit. Now, when we have a walkie-talkie sequence, Laura is forced to walk, and the walking speed is pretty pretty slow. So we're trying to, what we're basically trying to do is we're trying to trigger the dirty tricks animation in the frame, or we want to be in the dirty tricks animation. It doesn't matter where we are. During the frame where we hit the trigger for the um, walkie-talkie sequence. And it sounds complicated, but it's actually not. Because you have the, the animation of the dirty trick is actually quite long. So um, it's not that hard to hit it. And when we do it correctly, we will basically give up all movement. But we will slide over the ground. It's sort of reminiscent of ice skating. <coughs> I'm super sorry. I'm still a little bit sick. Um, so it's basically like ice skating, but it's way faster than walking. So yeah, we we um, prefer to do that. Um, you trick of the dirty trick um, by doing a scramble, which is circle or B on Xbox One, 
and then pressing triangle or Y on Xbox One during the scramble. So I'm just gonna, gonna show to you here. This is the dirty trick. Scramble and then um, Y. Or triangle. And the trigger for the um, walkie talkie sequence is around here. So we're trying to make our way here and then dirty tricks into this and you can see we are ice skating. Now we're gonna do this. To get out of this animation you can either hold aiming down side but it's not gonna work this time. Or you can trigger another cutscene which is what we're gonna do now. After this cutscene we will um, hang upside down and we have to kill three guys. Um, I always suck at this. But it doesn't really matter since I think you have infinite ammo. Um, so yeah, just don't get killed. Um, shouldn't be too hard. Aim up a little bit here and kill this guy and, and this guy. And you automatically aim towards the, the trap you're caught in. You can't skip this cutscene. Um, but we're getting the rope arrows now. As soon as you can, press R1, then aim down side, aim to the right and uh, fire a secondary rope shot into this part and wait for these guys to arrive in their position and kill them. When you're low on health, like I am right now, try get to pa get try get past these guys and then just scramble. Do not roll, because you can roll, but only when you're safe. So, um, let me get back. The game wants us to shoot an, a rope arrow into this um, other side, into, into the other side, to make a rope bridge. But <clears throat> what is actually way faster is jumping on this rock. Now, if you're good, you can make it in one jump. But it's so inconsistent for me that I'm not going to try it during the run and I'm not going to try it now. What I however do is I jump on this rock to jump on that rock and then just cross. Get over here, small jump there and you're on the other side. Scramble, scramble roll. Open this door with a rope arrow. Um, secondary shots are always fired with R1 or uh, right bumper. And then you're just going to make your way down here. Into the cutscene, skip the cutscene. Scram the roll. Aim down there. Make a rope bridge, slide down. And now stick to the left. Completely stick to the left. Because there are three enemies and you don't want them to see you. Now, here is a small decision point you have to um, to make. When you land, I would advise you to look how many uh, to 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 um, confirm how many arrows you have. What's your situation? You need two arrows over there on top, and you need at least three more arrows um, for a later part. So, if you have less than five arrows, you need to either stealth kill one of those guys on top of there, or you need to kill both guys with a pistol or um, whatever is easiest for you but you need at least five arrows. I have enough because I picked up more than enough so give this guy a shot in the head and give this guy a shot in the head then aim around here and jump on this beam. If you jump on this beam you can also jump on the ground but if you jump on the beam you're saving the um, getting up animation. As soon as you're here just carefully aim and make your way across. And now we want to jump on this side. It looks a little bit scary, but in 99% of the cases, nothing bad should happen to you. And once you're here, just make your way up and shoot an arrow in, an arrow in here and make a way across. Now, 
I had cases in runs where um, the following QTE wouldn't trigger, so be careful with that. But honestly, there's nothing you can do. The rope will fly away and there will be a square or X QTE here. As soon as you hit this QTE, you can hit X or A to jump. And it should get you into this cutscene. Skip this cutscene and roll. But be careful. As soon as you're on this slope, you want to prepare for the next walkie talkie sequence skip. We're doing this with dirty tricks again, so as soon as you're in this puddle down there, so walk one or two steps forward and then scramble and then do the, the, the dirty trick slide. Hey Lara, Ross told us about the plane. Don't worry. And we got it again. I hope so. Any sign of sound? Now, the last time we had this walkie talkie skip, skip, I told you that we ended this animation by uh, going to the cutscene. This, however, is not possible at the moment, so we are aiming downside, and around here, the walkie talkie sequence should be uh, finished. So you aim downside and get out of the animation, and then you gotta scramble and roll. A queen. Himiko? <laughs> Captain Jessup? And you wanna skip this cutscene? And this is actually a perfect time to end this part, because then we can do the complete monastery in the next part. Just gonna wait here. Nice. Okay, um, if you have any questions um, about anything we just did, leave them in the comment section and I will get to, back to you as soon as possible. And in the next part, we're going to take care of the monastery, so be sure to look forward for that. And as always, thanks everyone for watching.